So I'll tell you right now, there's there's going to be some people in the FPV community that are going to be like, 100, 160 bucks, and there's no receiver, there's no screen in there, there's no nothing. It's, it's just something that holds yeah. your phone. So, yeah. Hey guys, what's going on? So today we've got the drone mask. I'm out here with one eye to the sky. He's the one who's got the drone mask and is letting me check it out. So we're gonna take a look at this thing together. So this is basically like any other, I guess, FPV style mask um, or virtual reality mask that you would typically buy. It's got a single pane of glass in there. So there's not really any separation. It zips okay. up in there. Oh yeah, here, see, it's just so you guys can check that out. Yep, phone goes right in there. Really, really simple. All right, well, I'm, I'm excited. I want to get up in the air. I want to fly it. So what are we, we we'll be flying the Air 2S today, right? Yes, we're going to fly cool. the Air 2S. It's already hooked up and ready to go. With, oh, oh I'm going to put the TX down for a second here while I uh, get the goggles on. So that, okay, so it fits perfectly with my glasses, like fit perfectly. Oh, uh, it wants me to do, oh, I have to do the check propeller installation. Check. Uh, All right, I'll do that. Okay, but it's good. It, it wants me to confirm that the propeller check was done, though. <laughs> so, so we're gonna have to open in the. In this particular instance, we'll have to open it up. We'll have to open it up. We right. can open it up and do it right. like we're doing so here. We verified the check is complete. Right, both sticks in. Geo flight restriction in effect. I I can't click OK. <laughs> I can't I can't click OK. Don't you love DJI? Sometimes? Oh man! So we have, so we're we're having to unzip it for the second time now. I see. I should have known better. I think we're good now. Yeah. Oh really? It popped up again. I think we're we're good to go. It's good to have a helper on yes. hand to uh, answer the messages for you. Yeah, you gotta have a spotter when flying FPV. Everybody has one. All right, I, I gotta say this is really cool. I. I've always wanted to be able to fly a, a DJI quad FPV style and, you know, you, un unless you have something like this, you basically can't. Um, very easy view of everything. I don't have to worry about glare. There's nothing. I mean, this is awesome. Yeah, everything is pretty clear. Yeah, everything's pretty good. You know, one of the challenges of when you don't have the RC Pro radio or a triple tech tablet or something that has really, really high uh, nits is when you're in the sun, it's, it's a pain in the ass to see. And the, the drone mask does basically solve that problem 100%. But yeah, I'm enjoying it. I mean, uh, I, I'm enjoying it. It works perfectly fine for me with my glasses. I have no trouble at all I kind of expected that though because I have yet to put I have yet to put my face with my glasses in any goggle and have a bad experience the DJI FPV goggles work uh, regular FPV box goggles work I I'm a person that just has good luck with all that sorts of things so that that doesn't that doesn't surprise me but it's it's nice that you know I, I can say if you have glasses they're gonna fit in them just wanted to go for a quick ride around the river area there, and I think we're gonna I'm going to go in for a landing, and uh, I want you to take let's take the reins. The one caveat here is I am blind in my left eye, and uh, I can't see the left side of the screen, which is uh, a big deal. I gotta tell you, I really like this. But the fact that I can't see my altitude is concerning. And one of the other things I notice is this: it, it's even after adjusting this across the bridge of my nose, it kind of it kind of sounds like I have a cold, like someone's pinching off my nose a little bit. So it's not uncomfortable. It's just, you know, if I'm going to talk on a video, I'm going to sound like I'm stuffed up. Basically, uh, I don't typically sound like this. Do I, John? Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> yeah, it's That's and good I, I that you get it. That up. I get it. It's probably just to make sure it fits tight so it drowns out light. It could also be that maybe the top head strap needs a little adjustment yeah, I as could, well. I've I adjusted the hat, it a little. Though. I feel like I feel like here's the thing. When I felt the heaviness on my nose when I didn't have the hat on. That's one yes. of the reasons I put my hat back on um, and did it that way. Yes, there is some definite heaviness that I'm feeling it up. 
I've, I've already adjusted it once, but it may need a little bit more adjusting to kind of okay. take a little bit of that pressure off. But it felt tight to me even when I was just holding it up to my face, you know, without the strap even being on. So, you know, uh, if it doesn't bother you, that's that should be okay. Right, so you paid you paid um one sixty nine one sixty nine uh, for yeah, these so right not horrible by uh, by <laughs> what I've paid for other things as far as gadgets and, and add ons I, sure. I tell you right now there's there's going to be some people in the FPV community that are going to be like one hundred one hundred sixty bucks and there's no receiver there's no screen in there there's no nothing it's, it's just something that holds yeah. your phone so, yeah. Some people are gonna be like, "Oh my god!" But that to me, that does seem kind, that does seem kind of expensive. That does yeah, seem kind of expensive I, for what you get. You know, when these initially came out, uh, I bookmarked the page, and they were one twenty nine. And uh, I will tell you though, I, I get a little disoriented even like when I fly FPV. So standing uh, does still kind of make me a little disoriented uh, with these things on. So right. I was hoping that this wouldn't do it. Uh, but it does a little bit. So, uh, tell tell us about this cable, by the way, as well. While we're discussing the whole the whole price bit, of whether things worth it or not. The cable to connect the phone. Yeah. Well, they don't include cables to connect from the controller to your phone inside right. the case. Right. And it's funny because so, they say on the box here. I'm going to show this to people. It says, "How does it work?" Step number one: connect your drone controller to your smartphone with a long cable. Yes, which... <laughs> but they don't include the cable. They don't include the cable, which for $169, you'd think they would include the cable. Oh, man. <laughs> That's just a... But they didn't, and of course it was... I I had to order some for the iPhone, because I fly my DJI drones with my iPhone and my Android phone. Not awful as far as cost, but, you know, you're adding another $20 to the cost of... The, the the total cost for the goggles and to be able to use them so right you know roughly two hundred dollars basically is what I've what I've spent two ten somewhere around in there um, <laughs> and you know again that's quite a lot of money to just be able to see uh, a bigger view yeah you know, when you're flying um, no now that's not discounting the coolness factor this is really cool yeah for for me I'm going to probably end up sending them back. Uh, as much as I like them and the clear, mm -hmm. clearness of the screen and being able to see, uh, the fact that I can't see the data on the left is, is a big showstopper for me. And I guess people who may have visual impairments should definitely beware. Absolutely. You know, vision in one eye is affected. These things really might not work out for you. I had no, I had no visual problems at all with them, but... Uh, for the for the price, I think it would be really hard for me to justify getting something like this. I would almost rather get one of those stupid VR goggle things that you find at like Walmart. The crappy pair of you know Walmart goggles that you might uh, make makeshift out of something is gonna end up having the same issues that we had. Like you can't get to the menus, you can't change your your camera settings beyond whatever you can put on your uh, C buttons or, or your CN buttons or whatever. So yeah, I think they're just, I think for the price, there's just too many compromises. That, yeah. That's my opinion. Very cool factor to be able to fly the Mavic FPV style, but uh, too many compromises. That, that's my opinion. I don't think I would be willing to pick these up for that price. Sorry, drone mask. <laughs> now, yeah, I, I, <laughs> and I, I wanna just say, I really like these. I really don't want to send them back. I really, really do. Uh, but they just don't work for me. And I was really hoping they would. Um, but after trying them out and testing them out, it, it just, I can't safely fly it, fly my drone with those on. You know, there, there's a lot of things that come into, in, into play here when we're talking about wearing this thing. So fantastic design i really like them i don't want to send them back but i'm gonna to have to because they're just they're just not going to work for me physically all right guys so you heard it here that's the opinion on the drone mask uh go check out one eye in the skies channel i got the link down there in the video description below he's a good friend of mine and go give him some subscribes also subscribe to me if you're not subscribed to me uh if you got any questions leave them down in the uh comment sections below 
try to help you out on these or, you know, answer any questions. And with that being said, hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to go do some flying and uh, you guys take care. Take care.